Today we're gonna turn boring chicken breast from this into this. Hey everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. We are making breaded chicken skewers. This recipe is an oldie but a goodie. My aunt Tanya gave this recipe to me years ago and our family has loved it ever since. So let's get started. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and when you do, click that little bell icon so you'll get notifications every time we post a recipe. You'll need about 10 to 12 small skewers and you do want to make sure that they fit the length of your skillet. I highly recommend using a non-stick pan because it'll be much easier to flip the skewers and I will link to my favorite skillets in the recipe notes. To start, you'll need two pounds of chicken breast. You'll want to cut those up into bite-sized pieces, each about 3 fourths inches wide. The easiest way to do that is to cut the chicken breast into 3 quarter inch wide strips, then cut each of the strips into smaller pieces. Transfer your prepared chicken into a large mixing bowl. Here's a quick kitchen safety tip. Anytime you're handling raw meats, make sure to wash your hands and thoroughly clean any kitchen surfaces that touch the meat. Season the chicken with about a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and I like to add a teaspoon of Mrs. Dash, but you can use your favorite salt-free seasoning. Stir that together to combine and distribute the seasonings. Next, add 3 fourths cup of real mayonnaise. And this seems like a lot of mayo, but keep in mind it's a lot of chicken and it adds amazing moisture and tenderness to the chicken breast. Now if you're in a time crunch, you can bread and saute them right away, but I find they're more flavorful and more tender if you refrigerate them for an hour. And if you prefer, you can even marinate it overnight. Once the chicken is done marinating, it's time to start skewering. I do like to use a pair of disposable gloves for this process because it can get a little bit messy. I'm putting about four pieces of chicken onto each skewer, leaving a little margin at the top and bottom of the skewer. You want to have a little bit of a serving handle once these are all fried up. Skewer the chicken first and arrange them on a platter. Now it's time to add the breading, which will give these a crispy and golden exterior. Add one cup of Italian-style breadcrumbs to a medium casserole dish. I love using the Italian style variety because it adds more flavor to the skewers. Roll the skewers in the breadcrumbs until evenly coated, then transfer them to another platter. Breading them two at a time can make the process just a little bit faster. Once you're done breading all of your skewers, it's time to fire up the stove and saute these. Place your large non-stick pan over medium heat. You'll want to add enough oil to the pan to generously coat the bottom. I'm using a light olive oil, but you can use any high heat cooking oil that you like. You'll want to make sure the oil is hot before adding the skewers, and to test this, drop a breadcrumb in. If it sizzles and turns golden pretty quickly, the oil is ready. Saute your skewers in a single layer. You'll need to cook these in batches so you don't overcrowd the pan. You also want to make sure they're easy to flip, so give yourself enough room. Saute those for about three minutes, then flip them over and continue cooking for another three minutes. When they're done, they should be golden brown on both sides and the center of the chicken should read 165 degrees Fahrenheit on an instant read thermometer. If you find the breading is browning too quickly, that means your oil is too hot and you'll need to reduce the heat. You can also test for doneness by cutting through one of the larger pieces of chicken to make sure it's fully cooked through in the center. Once those are beautifully golden brown and finished sauteing, transfer them to a paper towel lined platter and repeat with the remaining skewers. <laughs> you know what time it is, the taste test and uh, these were seriously so easy to make and anything but boring chicken. So we're just gonna jump right into the taste test and anytime you've got something fried, it's a really good idea to squeeze some fresh lemon juice over the top. So we're gonna cut some lemon wedges to serve on the platter. Squeezing on some fresh lemon juice on anything that's breaded and fried, it just adds 
this pop of freshness and makes it come alive. All right, who's hungry? <laughs> We're gonna get right into this. Okay, I'm gonna transfer these to a platter. And these are so perfect for parties. You can totally make them ahead. You can pre-marinate the chicken overnight and it'll be even more delicious. Okay, so just get them on a platter and serve these at your next party and they will disappear fast. These are always a hit and the kids especially love them. I mean, they're crispy chicken on the outside and then so juicy on the inside because the marinade really seals in the juices and it makes the chicken super flavorful as it marinates in the fridge. These are a must try. I mean, you make these once and you make them over and over. And if you have some leftovers, if you're lucky enough, <laughs> they're also really good reheated for lunch or you can even enjoy them cold. I'm gonna get some fresh lemon juice squeezed over the top and it's time to enjoy. All right, come to mama. <laughs> I'm so hungry. All right, so when you're cooking all day, you work up an appetite, okay? And this is the cook sample, that's what we call it. So we're gonna get right into this. Here we go. And I do like to eat it right off the skewer and it just looks so cute on the plate. But if your children or dinner guests cannot be trusted with a pointy skewer, <laughs> you can take them off the skewer and then you've got like little chicken nuggets that are cute too, okay? All right, taste test, here we go. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. This totally hits the spot. <laughs> I love that it's crisp on the outside and wow, super juicy, tender, and flavorful on the inside. That mayo and seasonings actually add a ton of flavor to this. And then I love that little splash of fresh lemon juice over the top, it's such a treat. If you've never tried that on fried food, you have to have to try it, all right? Now, I'm really hungry, so <laughs> I'm gonna go eat as much of these as I can fit and share with my husband, of course. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, if you guys spotted Sharky in the video, let me know in the comments what point of the video you saw him. And I hope you guys love this recipe and that it becomes a new favorite for you. We'll see you in our next episode.